Guys, we're back with the screen team being joined by Sue with the Popper Bluff Public Library. A lot's going on with the library, but before we get to that, we got to review some movies here. And our final John Wayne movie is a movie that uh, I don't know if it's his most famous role, but it's definitely one of those that's up there, Rooster Cogburn. And uh, it was the film and the performance that won him his only Academy Award. John Wayne, True Grit's the name of the film. Um, Sue, you like this film? I do. I do, too. I do like it. Yeah. Um, I like it because, again, back to the relationship between um, the Rooster Cogburn and the character that uh, plays Maddie, and that's Kim Darby. Mm -hmm. Um, John Wayne didn't necessarily want Kim Darby to be in that role, but at the same time, I think she plays a strong young woman, and as a strong young woman, she is going to avenge the death of her father, and she's yeah. going after this guy in Indian Territory. And what Indian Territory meant in those days was Oklahoma. So can you imagine that that yeah. was the far west, was Oklahoma? You know who she reminds me of? Who? My wife. I could see that. <laughs> very bossy, very, you're going to do what I say or else. Well, I know I was thinking more in terms of the fact that she's is the strength that she brings and the well, and who she, see, and the, you're you're going the positive route. I'm going more the negative route. So no, you're not. You're you're the husband, and I'm the friend. That's right. <laughs> you know, and I want to keep the friend. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but anyway, but not only that is Kim Darby and John Wayne. We also have Glenn Campbell. Oh yeah. And I think what a tribute to be able to do something that Glenn Campbell starred in as a film. Oh yeah. He was the Texas Ranger. He he starts out and he goes out as a as a sidekick to John Wayne yeah. and tries to run the show, but it doesn't work out. I love that scene where um, she first meets him at the uh, bed and breakfast or whatever it was yeah. called, and you know she keeps looking at him like oh, he's he's beautiful, but I you know I can't be distracted by by his beauty. I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go to bed. See you guys. You know, I like that scene. Well, I liked it too. They're eating chicken and dumplings, and they said there wasn't much chicken there. <laughs> she was like, she was like, for for ten cents, I better get some more chicken. And you can see the, you know, the host is like, mm, you know, exactly. So it was, the, and there, are, and that's the point. Is Rooster Cogburn? I think in some ways has more subtle humor to it than even more yeah. than always there's a moment of humor in the John Wayne film. Sure. But in this one, I think you see it sprinkled more directly all the way through, even to the end. I yeah. think you see the, see the humor in it. I told Chris that I would say that there's one scene in there that I just sat there and I got said that it was the silliest scene I'd ever mm -hmm. seen. And that was whenever there's a rattlesnake and she's beating at this rattlesnake. And I said, what smart girl would ever beat at some <laughs> venomous creature? Yeah. Because all the going to do is attack back but okay well it made for good hollywood how's yeah. that yeah it's true and sometimes you know she's a very very smart um young woman in this movie and sometimes you know when you're that smart sometimes you don't have the the common sense sometimes it's a good way to put it you know and that was and also we have to give her the credit in the film she's hurt at this moment sure and she's desperate and sure. so as and sometimes desperation makes us do things that we might not ought to do that's very it, true regardless but as as chris said it was the only um role in that john wayne was nominated for best actor and he won the oscar for that the music what was nominated for um, the original song, and guess who sings it? Hmm, Glenn. John Wayne. No. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> but you know, John Wayne could sing. Could he really? <laughs> yes, he could. I didn't know. I that. mean, it was not it was not great music, but at least it wasn't out of tune. Sure, sure. So there was there was that. Um, it is also based on what they think is a true character, a U.S. Marshal named Heck Thomas. Mm -hmm. And it starts out at not only at the ranch where Kim Darby uh, is, or Maddie is home, it belongs, but she goes to Fort Smith because that's where the federal court was. And that's where they started in. Uh, and she was looking for a man with true grit. I'm looking for someone with true grit. I love that line. I do too. And the reason she is is she wants some, and that true grit for her, I think, had multiple meanings. Yeah. One is skillful, skillful as a as a horseman, skillful as a as a gunfighter. But I think also with her, true grit meant integrity. Sure. And I think it also meant sure. that he would do the right thing. And yes, she was going to pay him. And yes, he was going to let her pay him. So, yeah. you know, that was, I think that that makes, makes a lot of sense. Uh, it was, there was another one done in 2010 uh, with Jeff Bridges. I have to be honest, I've never seen it. I've only ever seen this one. We, we reviewed it and um, it, it did well critically. I wasn't a fan of it. 
it, it got nominated for Best Picture. Jeff uh, uh, Bridges got uh, nominated for Best Actor. So did Matt Damon, I think. Um, uh, and so did uh, The Young Lady. She got nominated as well. So it did really, really well critical-wise and award-wise, but I just I wasn't a fan. I like this one better. Well, and just like The Sons of Katie Elder, this one is uh, directed by uh, Hathaway, which he did not as many films with John Wayne mm-hmm. as John Ford did, but he did several films. And there sure. were times whenever Hathaway would just say, I want John Wayne for this. That's all there is to it. But those were guys... Are directors and at that time it was guys who directed westerns westerns were their thing and that was their specialty and by golly they did westerns so. okay i could be wrong on this was this based i mean was, was there a book about this first was true well, grit a book uh, no i yes there was i'm sorry i okay. guess it was a, a book called true grit and it is based in that book okay and okay. it was adapted for the screenplay okay it was adapted by, uh the novel is written by charles portis i actually have that in my notes i don't mm-hmm. know why i missed it and then adapted for screenplay by marguerite roberts so if i want to read it can i go to the library and pick it up i hope so <laughs> <laughs> Let if me not, look it up. Let me look it up. <laughs> if not, we can probably order it, right? That's right. We okay. can get it. For, and actually, that's one of the things I want to talk tell you about. You're talking about ordering it. Mm-hmm. It's not just a matter of ordering it. We can get it from other libraries. Sure. And we are now, as a part of the consortium of Missouri Evergreen in the state of Missouri, we, Evergreen is now the second largest library group in the state and that means that we are second only to st louis county oh my goodness that's uh, great yeah we're bigger yeah. than kansas city mid-continent st sure. louis city springfield so that means our patrons have access not just to books but to films as well so yeah. here we are talking about all these films it's checked out we'll get it from another library and it's usually here within seven to ten days that's I think wonderful that's pretty awesome that is great that's very, very I, cool. it blows my mind sometimes to think how yeah. large this collection has grown and that's only in the five years i've been here and you were also saying earlier on in the show that you guys are going to be showing true grit next weekend right no it's going to be uh january 28th mm-hmm. and oh you're right it's next weekend right. i get got my dates <laughs> wrong but it's january 28th 8th it's part of our sunday matinee and we're doing it at 2 p.m. And then the week following, we're doing The Searchers, which you reviewed in December. So yeah. as a result, we can, we're can we going to hit two John Wayne Great. films right in a row. But one of the reasons we're doing these two films and doing and showing them is that they go along with the book we're doing called uh, Our Book in the Bluff. And Our Book in the Bluff is News of the World by Paulette Giles. And Paulette Giles absolutely is a true blue Missourian, mm-hmm. even though she's writing about Texas. And um, some people may not know it, but she was here in Pauper Bluff when the Christmas tree came in. Oh, wow. That's great. And so she was there taking pictures like everyone else. Yeah. And she and one of uh, the people on our committee recognized her and went up to her and said, are you Paulette Giles? And she said, I am. And she said, well, I'm on the committee. And Paulette Giles is excited that she's coming to Pauper Bluff March the 8th oh, at great. 7 p.m. at the Tenon Center. And she's going to speak with us, sign books. And be a part of our community in the in the book world. So That's to wonderful. Speak. Yeah, wonderful. so we're really fortunate to get someone of her caliber and who is a, and, and who is a fellow Missourian as well. And of course, uh, we can uh, check out the book too over at the library. We have Buku copies of that book, and please come get it. We have an audio book, we have it in large print, we have it in print, and we have it in ebook. So there's if, we have all kinds of ways that you can read this book. It's a good read it's a quick reader it was for me i've mm-hmm. as a time has gone on i've got become a slower and slower reader but this particular one i actually read in three or four days that's pretty sure. fast for me so um do you could you ever see this book becoming a movie uh there is there are rumors that it will be a movie and there are rumors that it's going to be a fairly well-known older actor who has the hmm. initials of tom hanks <laughs> I wonder who that could be. <laughs> wow. Uh, and it's pure rumor. I don't know okay. for a fact, but I have seen it online right. and I have seen it <laughs> in various places. And and so there's a possibility. The person that, if Tom Hanks does it, and he may not, I mean, sure. it, and it may not ever become a movie, you know, there's always rumors that, you know, films. But think about the guy who is the lead character in this book, Captain Kidd. Captain Kidd has survived three wars. Oh, wow. He was in the War of 1812, he was in the Mexican-American War of 1848, mm-hmm. and then he was in the Civil War. And he alludes to some of his um, 
adventures in those wars, but mainly is the fact that he was a survivor, and that's what we see in this film. And there's this, whenever they get into a gunfight and with uh, some uh, villains in the middle of, uh, of a gulch, and what they do to fight back against these villains, and it has to do, and all I'm going to tell you is it has to do with guns and dimes. And I think that that'll be enough to intrigue you. And it's I'm something, ready. and I asked somebody who knows something about guns to ask if this was possible. Mm -hmm. And they said, maybe. Uh -huh. So I'll just let it, leave it at that and let you all decide. But just remember that some of the weaponry uh, handled greater than 50 caliber and the size of a dime. Think about yeah. the size of a dime. So Okay. So uh, if you've mentioned a lot today. If people have been listening maybe they've they've missed a, a point or two where can they turn to find more information on all these events all these events you can go to the popper bluff public library's website mm -hmm. www.popperbluff.org and we have big banners going across that you can just click on and it'll tell you take you immediately sure we have a blog now that where we're advertising things and I would say it's advertising some of the things, but we're giving you information about Paulette Giles. We're giving you information about the book. We're giving you information about the different awards it's mm -hmm. won, as well as how to get the book and how to, and there's, and our book club is doing uh, the uh, News of the World in January. So we've got lots going on. And there are many book clubs in town who are also doing News of the World. Wonderful. We like the community read because we think it's an opportunity for our community to share with one another. If you and I have read the same books, just like we've watched the same movies, mm -hmm. we have a lot to talk about. We sure do. And Chris and I, I would like to say, have become friends as a result of being able to have this shared community of knowledge and things we've done. Yeah. And I appreciate that. I do, too. Sue, thank you so much for You're coming. You're welcome. And, uh, we'll have uh, more with Sue. She'll be uh, doing more shows with us here in 2018, so we'll be on the lookout for that. She'll be, obviously, uh, keeping us up to date on what's going on at the Poplar Bluff Public Library. That's going to do it for the screen team this Saturday. We'll see you next Saturday at 6 p.m. right here on KWOC. Remember, you can check us out all over the web. We're on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, all the social media sites, and check us out at ScreenTeamPB.com. For Sue and Chris, we're the screen team. We want you to know before you go.